Yeah, I mean, I feel like it's such a difficult thing to look at because it's such a it's like being famous, but as you highlight like an anti-hero where it's just there's so few people that'll ever be at in that situation. I mean, it's it's so hard to kind of wrap your head around even what's really even what a like what it's like day to day. And you know, there's different ones where you have, you know, El Chapo, as you were just highlighting and Sinaloa, and then you'll have ones that are down south, up north, wherever it might be. So I think kind of understanding that cartel dynamic is really difficult. And you mentioned it earlier, and I'd love to kind of go into Fast and Furious and wide receiver. And one of the things you highlighted in the book, which I thought was really interesting, was that a lot of the failures there were our lack of understanding of the dynamics of the cartels. So maybe if you want to highlight, you know, what those two areas were, Fast and Furious and wide receiver, and then, you know, kind of highlight as well how the different dynamics of what the cartels are, you know, their formulations is what really hurt us in those situations. So um, Fast and Furious um, was a, a an operation by the ATF carried out in Arizona, um, 2009 to 2010. It started to kind of blow open. Um, you had a previous version also from Arizona called Wide Receiver uh, back in, in, in the mid-2000s. Uh, basically, these operations were with the idea of following uh, gun tra traffickers and building conspiracy cases against gun trafficking organizations. So the same way they do about drug, with drug trafficking. Um, sometimes putting um, devices in the guns to trace them. Um, also just watching them, basically watching the guns be bought from stores in big numbers and, and, and taken to the cartels. With Fast and Furious, you had around 2,000 firearms being bought by these cartels and they're just sitting there watching them. Um, eventually, one of the some of the guns from Fast and Furious ended up in the hands of criminals who shot dead an elite Border Patrol agent, um, Brian Terry, in, in Arizona. Uh, following his death, it kind of came out and it kind of blew open. Um, I interviewed the former president of Mexico, Felipe Calderon, about this. I looked, you know, look, you know I interviewed one of the um, confidential informants in, in wide receiver. Um, and looked at this, I think really what you see in this is first this kind of shows the nature of these federal operations i mean when you get to the federal government operations they're kind of pretty crazy about organized crime it's kind of building conspiracy cases and so you, you can kind of see this stuff with i mean they do the same thing with drugs but with drugs you couldn't trace it in the same way so you have people watching heroin be trafficked watching fentanyl be trafficked eventually try and bust these guys but they're still kind of watching it happen they did the same thing with guns um, but also, uh, in this case, they kind of misunderstood the cartel. It didn't make sense of the cartel. They kind of thought it was the cartel works like some, um, you know, like, like the U.S. government, some kind of top-down organization, um, where it's actually, you know, very sophisticated cells without knowledge of each other, um, which are kind of financially independent and kind of changes, all this kind of stuff. So they really didn't get off the base. And they kind of – so they, they, they were kind of basically – as they were following this operation, they were following these guys and they, they, they made, well, we've only got the bottom level guys. Um, we'll just, just try and keep on following it. And then they're like, they've sold a thousand guns. It's kind of looking kind of rather bad. Now we've got to keep on going. It's like one and a half thousand guns. Okay. And then eventually till it kind of blows up and like, okay, we've got to take it down these guys. So it's kind of like um, ineptness I see there. Now I do see there's, there was politi politics involved in that or the Obama White House, happened under the Obama White House. The Obama White House, like, let's let's hit gun trafficking. Felipe Calderon went to the US and said, like, let's hit gun trafficking. Was like, let's hit gun trafficking. So there's pressure like on trying to hit these guys, which ended up making a worse situation. And then I think that afterwards there was a lot of cover up. So where you do see more conspiratorial stuff is like after this was blown open, Eric Holder was like, oh, didn't know about this. Then they find out, well, that's just an email to you talking about. This. Oh, I don't read my emails. Um, and then this kind of stuff. So I think you see more conspiracy stuff with kind of covering. Everyone's like, oh, it wasn't me. It was him kind of covering up thing. Um, but I, I don't believe, I mean, there was kind of a lot of conspiracy theories or I don't, maybe a lot of conspiracy accusations. And I know there is conspiratorial behavior sometimes, but kind of accusations of, of more organized corruption with this. 
one was saying, well, they did it to try and um, because they're on an anti-gun um, platform. I don't, I don't think if, if I think in any, if anything, this took the issue of firearms to Mexico off the agenda for a decade because this blew up in 2011. And then now we've come back to having, you know, gun trafficking to Mexico back on the agenda a decade afterwards. For a decade, it was off the agenda. No one went near it. And maybe a couple of million guns went to Mexico. Um, so I don't think it was really, I mean, it, you know, it, it didn't do anything to help um, the um, kind of gun control cause or whatever. Um, and then from Mexico, they're like, well, this was part of conspiracy to destabilize Mexico or a conspiracy to help arm the Sinaloa cartel. The Sinaloa cartel got a lot of those guns. I think probably more ineptness than anything um, and, 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 and reflecting kind of deeper problems in federal operations. Now